see what's going on here at Auto Creations today. The Ford is gone, and hey, look at that. 69Z20, I did last year's back. Uh, we've got it raised up in the air here. We're going to go underneath, clean it underneath, do some detail paint work underneath, get some satin black, some semi glosses, and things on parts and pieces that need it. Paint some natural steel colors on. I'll probably do a little videos on that. Probably won't be too much. That's kind of straightforward work. The car still looks very nice. Very good, and it's, it's really nice. The owner drives the car, so I'm always glad to hear that. All right, back on the Camaro. It's on the floor down here. Quite a mess we're making. As with a lot of these jobs, they end up being more than what you had wanted them to be. I anticipated this car looked like it just had some black paint on the floors of it. Uh, further inspection of that. <clears throat> it had some kind of a coating on it. Don't really know what it is. You can see it here. I haven't sanded it yet. It's not POR. It's not undercoating. It's not regular paint. I don't know what it is. Someone put her on, so we're taking that off. It doesn't sand well, so I'm having to uh, scrape it off. It will sand as soon as I get the bulk of it scraped off. Of course, that meant, you know, manual labor here. So, that wasn't going too quick, so that didn't cut it, so. We did a little homemade tool here on the old slugger. Took just regular putty knife scraper blade, one of that to an old dull chisel I had, run it on slow speed, that seems to help the process here, but still a lot of manual labor, so, won't do too much on this, I'll bring you back, uh, make some progress on it, let you know where we're at. Alright, it's raining here in Ohio today. This will probably be the uh, last video on the camera, I might make one more if they do a couple more little things to it here. I said it was in for the underside detail. I didn't make a lot of videos doing it. It's pretty straightforward. Everyone can kind of see what we got here. Rear end's a semi-gloss. 60% gloss on the rear end. Springs are a natural steel color. Everything else is a satin black underneath. 30% gloss. This is a fuel tank silver. Straps are a semi. Shocks are gray. They're light gray, the light shine, they might look white, but they are light gray. See what I meant about the spring colors. Get all the lines, they're all a natural steel. Brake lines, fuel lines, everything. You can see brake cables, the drive shaft is a natural steel. You can see the semi-gloss on the floor pans now. I should say satin. I see a 30% gloss. See the cables. Emergency brake cables and everything. Say it's hard to get down here. That camera underneath there. Oh, really nice, looks good. Be a nice compliment to this car. All right, I'm not going to slide back under it. I'm done with that. Said so we had redone most of the front parts and everything on this car. I had it in here before and took all the front suspension or off the front sheet metal and all out of it. Painted all the suspension. So, so there you go. Trying to see what we've been doing to it. Did one more little job, I'll bring you back when we do that. Time to get it back on the wheels on the floor. All right, 69Z28 is all done now. I said I had uh, done underneath. I shot some video of all that. Come out very nice. See everything over here. I'm not going to get back down there and take a big long video of that, but you can see what we did underneath there. Looks good. Uh, while the car was here, I gave it a buff job, foam pad, 
It's always nice to hit them again, get a chance to when they come back in. That was very nice. Real happy with how this one came out. This is a factory restoration on this car. Here's a True Z28. Original numbers match, 302 motor. Let's see, four speed, 12 volt rear end. The owner has since put bias ply tires on it to complete the uh, restoration. I asked him how he liked this compared to radials. He says they do pretty good. These are a wider tire, of course. I remember the size that we look at an E7015. So a little bit wider tread. Now I like the real narrow owner style, 50 style bias ply tires. So there's some tread width there. Stability on the roof. Says they do pretty good. Yeah, so it looks fantastic inside. She takes excellent care of it. Rubber's nice and tight on it, all the seals are good. Of course, everything was new. Right on top. So, all right, that finishes up on the Z28.